Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so, um, I got some channeling earlier, but I wasn't able to like start a video. So, start off with those. Uh, Esmeralda and Chili. Um, I've been told, uh, this is hard, but um, to ask you to rethink um, your plans of getting an abortion. I know rape is hard. Um, I've actually been through it myself, but um, like spirit really doesn't want you to experience the regret and um, the re the remorse you're gonna have throughout the years, throughout the rest of your life if you um, if you go ahead with the, your current plans. Um, Brandon and Jessica from Daytona Beach um, really think twice about. Um, getting married like I I don't think you guys are on the same page um this is for a Taurus that is dating a feminine Leo who was born in 1988 she is a karmic she came into your life to teach you a lesson please learn the lesson and let it go because she will cause you so much pain if you try holding on longer than the lesson to Daniel in Uganda the authorities know that you're not shipping coffee um, they know that coffee is just a front so whatever you're doing um, I mean it might be too late but if it's not you well it, it is but <laughs> you still might want to stop <laughs> like so there's not any further charges uh, and Amanda Brown in Connecticut God loves you and he wants you to know he is with you and that this too shall pass. So that was my challenge I got earlier. Oh, oh. Um, I guess that's why God's been telling me to meditate. <laughs> um, or like been on me really bad about like meditating more than what I've been meditating. Because I've just been like... I haven't really been able to, like, honestly, I've been through, like, going through so much emotionally. I just haven't really been able to to focus and, like, sit still long enough to really um, <laughs> do anything that I would consider actual meditation. <laughs> Somebody's drinking too much soda. You need to drink more water. Capricorn. Virgo. Sagittarius. Leo. Aquarius. Depending on when you watch this video, but like, um, when you watch this video, if you've just like, like seen a fire truck, like on the road, um, it is a warning. So, um, just be cautious, like, of like your electronics and like your appliances and leaving the stove on or something like that. Like, um, because the fire truck is meant to serve as a warning to you if you saw it like right before you watch this video. Gemini. Oh, Pisces. Pisces wanted to come out too, apparently. Nate.
Can you ever forgive me? Start that business. Somewhere over the rainbow. Sixties. So somebody could have been born in the 1960s or somebody could be in, in their 60s. But I guess at this point, <laughs> if you're born in the 1960s, you're in your 60s. Or at least in the early 1960s. Uh, God is up to something. Don't give up. You're going to love it. Somebody's name could be Zach. Sunday could be significant. One day you will look back and be glad it all worked out the way that it did. You will finally love your life. Saturday. So something could be something could be happening this weekend. Michelle. Betty. Tito. Stop and smell the roses. Uh uh. Virginia. True love comes when you love yourself. And white truck. Well, and Australia. Melissa. Austin. I was embarrassed and jealous of you at the same time. September. Capricorn. So that's twice a Capricorn's come out already. Yep. Rachel. James. You will get that job. Sarah. Indiana. Just stop and breathe. Mary. October. BJ. Florida. Kim. Darnell, Darius, I have addictions you don't know about, Beth, And Robert. And I'll stop there. It didn't bother you when you were doing the death spells on Christmas, so um, why lose sleep over it now? The Emperor, number four. Stability and efficiency. Taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. Yeah, what's done is done. I mean, if you were laughing and kicking it up with your family and friends when you were doing it um, around Christmas, why are you losing sleep now? Is it because you thought it was a joke until... You saw the karma start coming back and hitting you and your people in the face. Actually, I think one of you might already be passed over. And maybe that's why you're afraid to sleep. Seven, the chariot. Determination and self-control. Career achievement. Acknowledgement of success by others. 
somebody's about to be launched into actually like not, not even the, just the next phase of their life like someone's gonna be catapulted like a couple phases of like they're gonna be advanced like probably three to four life um phases and just by the end of this year um someone's getting a second chance because they have given it their all their whole life and they've just had so many hidden enemies and and karmic family that every time this person even got like this much ahead there was always uh, a hidden enemy or a karmic family member that was there to distill from them or kick them down or do something that like knocked them back. You know, every time they made one step forward, two steps forward, they were, they were knocked back five to 10, five divine guidance. The search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach. Surrender yourself, surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. Um, for the person I was just talking about, I don't think you're going to have a choice. I think God's going to do it for you. The right people are going to come into your life. Um, and you are going to be given that new, that new outlook, that new approach, um, that epiphany. Number nine, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. And I definitely think, um, wow, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, April, July, May, and September are definitely probably going to be really big months for whoever resonates with what I was just saying. 14. Solutions. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. That was 14. Or another 5. So May could really be a big month. 16. Change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free from a procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. And 15. Decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So stop letting... Um, the past holds you back, basically, because that, that low self-confidence comes from the past of people and things and experiences, like, making you feel not good enough. But all the things that have not worked out so far in your life, believe that's over. Now things are going to work out for you. Like, you're like you, you're going through, like, your winning season. You're going through a, um, a Midas Touch season. Where everything you touch turns to gold. It is a season where you finally get justice for all the time. It's that you got ghosted, you got left out in the cold. That, that people just really made you feel like you didn't matter. This is your your justice season. Where you get you do you get top. People are gonna come to you for answers. People are gonna come to you. Or, um, you're going to matter, like your opinion, your, um, you're going to matter in every way, shape or form, every way, shape and form. The will of fortune is spinning for you and uh, in all aspects, in all ways, wealth, uh, health, family, finance, in any way, shape or form, you are abundant. In all ways. And you just got to let go of that lack, lack mentality um, or that fear of repeating the past because that's not going to happen. You have been guaranteed a winning season. This is your winning season. And your intuition's telling you this. But I think your heart or your mind is not caught up to your intuition.
The initials B and J can really mean something because BJ came out earlier in my homemade cards. You're worried about things being hidden from you or um, because of what you've been through, you're worried about, you know, going into this with an open heart and an open mind just for things to be, the illusions to be uh, cast on things or secrets to be kept from you. Um, probably your biggest fear is in love because you do have someone coming in that's going to love you the way you deserve to be loved. And I think you are going to have some issues with it at first. I mean, rightfully so, but just trust and believe if God told you that this one is for you, then this one's for you. Like, um, I mean, definitely like take it slow, but I think, uh, it's naturally going to, it's going to unfold quickly. I, I do believe because it's just, you guys all really are like, you guys are, are meant for each other. So it's, it's not going to take a, um, it's going to unfold naturally and it's going to unfold fairly quickly. Empress. So you might get pregnant <laughs> really soon. Like I, I think you'll get married before you get pregnant, but um, it definitely might happen before the end of this year. I mean, we're just now going into April, so there's still plenty of time for that to be possible. People are probably like, fuck you, Ricky. I don't hear that. Uh, no, I don't hear it either, but um, I feel like I've been getting told the same thing. Boom, marriage card. I can't make it up. And I'm laying it right on top. The Empress and the 1111 uh, card, the Four of Wands, I put them both right on top of Justice. It is time for you to win. And look what came out next. This is your person. And you're going to know it. Your intuition is going to just be able to spot it instantly. I'm not saying like that you're not going to still like be a little uh, leery and um, still like question it because just of what you've been, th what you've been through, but you will, I think from the first moment you meet this person, there's going to be something about them, whether it's the way they look at you, the way they smile at you, the way they twinkle, their eyes twinkle or, um, or something they say. But you're gonna, your intuition is going to tell you um, from jump, like this is this is this is yours. This is your person, um, and you will have victory with them. There will be no secrets and illusions wrapped up in it. This person will be just like you. They'll be an open book. They will be um, they will be you. Like what you've given into all these other people in your past and it never worked out. And like, it just seemed like people would say they was real or they was 100 and they were really like, not even like one. <laughs> um, this person will be real, just as real as you are. And they will only say what they want, what they mean, just like you are. They will be your world. You'll be theirs. And together you guys will close out the the fuckery you guys you guys will spend the rest of your lives together you'll never have to worry about some fuck boy ever again or fuck girl i guess if it, depending on how it resonates but it is an ending to the fuck girls and the fuck boys by you guys coming together and you guys getting together it will close out it will, the world and death back to back come on now you guys will be saying goodbye to people who who were never worthy to begin with the ones who made you cry who made you depressed who made you have nightmares or kept you up all night like wondering what you did wrong why you weren't good enough why even though God himself delivered you to these people, they still rejected you or worked with other people or had you in third party situations, like cheated on you constantly. It's simply because they were all just lessons. They were, 
I know it's <laughs> trust me, I know it sucks to think of it this way, but um, they were the lessons you had to learn for for so you could be ready and right and the right like state of mind and the right place spiritually for when this King of Cups came out came in. Like, um, and I'm pretty sure that they, they've been through the same as you have. Like, I mean, pretty close. I'm not exactly the same, but you guys both had a lot of lessons to learn and you had to learn them the way you had to learn them. And now that the lessons have been learned, now you guys are meeting each other because now you're ready for each other. It is harvest season. It is time to put on that eating dress, girl. It's time to eat. Now, you put a lot of love into this world, um, and now it's your turn to get loved. Real, true, genuine love. What did I say? It's your turn. Finally, a new beginning in love that will last your whole life through. I finally found the love of a lifetime, a love to last my whole life through. The sun. This could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio, could be a Capricorn. Um, or you could be any one of those signs as well. Cancer, for sure. I mean, the moon and um, Pisces is here as well. Libra, Taurus. And I believe the Wheel of Fortune's Capricorn, but it might be Sagittarius. There's some more Cancer. There's some more Capricorn. Ah. Oh. So. Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Oh, that's okay. So there might be one more test coming in and it or coming in like probably right after you meet this person, this new person. Uh, and it might be an ex, not necessarily the most recent ex, but it's going to be someone who you've had a toxic connection to in the past. Um, but they're going to come in and they're going to look pretty and they're going to look like they've like they that they um have matured and you know they've done the healing and that they um they're no longer, you know, I mean full of conflict and um toxicity and that they really do want to have a fire passionate new beginning with you that they won't break your heart again. They're not juggling um, and they, they do want to do it right this time with you, but they are still only at a page level. You are an empress or a king, depending on if you're uh, masculine or feminine, but either way, this person, they probably are telling you the truth. Um, they probably don't intend to break your heart again. They probably don't intend to be toxic. They probably don't intend to be um, full of um, conflict or drama. Um, but they're still a page. And like I said, you're either an empress or you're a king. So either way, you you are about, like, I mean, you're just at a, you're at a higher level. Like you have evolved further spiritually than they have. Um, you're more mature than they are. And they're just not at your level. This other person is at your level. I mean, it's up to you. It's not saying that it wouldn't work out if you chose them, but you definitely would have a, a lot, um, I think, a lot more meaningful relationship with this other person because they are on your level. Or, well, they're just underneath you anyways. I mean, because, like I said, you're, if you're a feminine, then you're coming out as the empress. And if you're the masculine, you're coming out as a king. But king is just one step underneath the emperor. So way closer than a page. 
Expect miracles. I wouldn't worry about anything, honestly. Um, just continue to uh, heal your inner child. And learn. Life is a journey, not a destination. You know what I mean? Learn as you go. Take it all in. Everything, every experience as a, a learning experience. And um, just know that God's got you and that miracles are on their way. Just take, um, just go with the flow, ease and grace. Everything will flow to you naturally if you don't resist it. Holy love. So this person, if you can resist temptation and you truly know your worth and you know what you deserve, this person is your person. They are holy love. They are who you've been waiting for your whole life. You had to kiss a lot of frogs, but um, you're finally you're finally getting your prince or your emperor. Take a step back. I think that's talking about when um, this other person comes in at, to try and distract you one last time or try to get you to... Um, Pick them over who God truly has for you. Power and intention. So this, stand in your power. No, like set your intentions and don't let anyone take you off of that. You are an empress. Or you are a king. You have a throne. Don't let anyone take you off your throne. It's divine timing. It's happening just as it should, just when it should. Everything is happening the way it was supposed to and when it was supposed to in order for you to have your best life. Forgiveness and understanding. So that to me says, show your spiritual growth um, to this other person when they come in. Forgive them and understand. Don't be mean to them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, let them state their case or whatever and show them true authentic forgiveness and understanding. But that doesn't mean you uh, show them your um, bedroom. I'll make a couple of these and I'll cut it. I'll let it go. Because quite honestly, with them being a page still, that might be all they want anyways. It might be all they can ha like all they can really uh, commit to is is the physical side of it. Not saying that they don't want more, but they're probably just still not capable of actually um, giving you more. Archangel Metatron, I am your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and your divinity. I am here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Fill me in your heart and thoughts through oneness there is love just know the angels got your back they are here they're watching over you and if you ask for help they will help you they actually are waiting for you to ask they want to help trust all will work out well we your angels are here to nurture protect and heal you trust in the healing power of our love we love you more than you will ever know That's crazy. I, mean, I think that was an ambulance, but that just reminds me of what I said earlier about that fire truck. Do it now. Don't put off, put it off any longer. Have courage. Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul. So if you have been feeling like there's something you should do, do it, <laughs> do it now. <laughs> Sacred space. We your guardian angels surround you with emerald gold and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries and enter the sacred space of love and healing. Um, 
I only wanted two more, so. Faith, do not lose faith. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more. And compassion. When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showing, showering you with greater blessings. I love you guys. If you love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.